19 COVID stories. Masking an old problem. July 2020. Okay, we're all locked down and we got to make the best of it. There's nothing you can do about it. Just follow the correct procedures and do the right thing. We're all in this together. If the order is to stay put, then we bloody well stay put. On the other hand, what is the world coming to and the best way to serve your country is to sit on your arse and do nothing. I didn't think sitting around on my arse and doing nothing would be so difficult. To be honest, I'd hoped rather selfishly I could have a bit of a rest. But no. Gives me too much time to think. And that's not good. Sitting, thinking and shitting myself. Quietly shitting myself. The news, which is mostly rumours, doesn't help. In fact, I'm sick of all the wild speculating and the statistics. It's bloody endless. It's like sitting alone in a prison cell, not knowing how much time you'll have to serve whilst all the guards are whispering different sentences to you. It's the sense of isolation that hamstrings me. I thought I'd be good at it, but I'm not. I feel this compulsion to communicate all the time, to join in with the conversation. I wouldn't even call it a conversation. All I do is babble about fuck all to anyone who will listen. I have to stop doing that. Surely it's just a matter of discipline. The one trick I have learned is to concentrate on something in the real world. To lose myself in one thing. For instance, I often just stare at my hands. Or my mask. Bloody government. First they say you don't need a mask. Then they say you do. And finally they tell you to make up your own bloody mind. I'm one of the lucky ones. My mask is medically approved. Whatever that means. You can't be too careful. That's why I spend all my time examining it. My fingers like a pack of foxes sniffing their way around it, searching for little rabbit holes. The press is full of stories questioning how it was possible to make up the recent shipment so quickly. What shortcuts might have been taken? No one's even 100% sure how effective they are. Still, I practice putting on my mask and I have to say it does give me a vague feeling of being safe. There are, of course, no clear regulations or instructions on how or when to use the bloody mask. Some walk around with it on sort of all the time, whilst others let it hang around their necks ready for action. I saw one bloke mask round the back of his head smoking a cigarette. I laughed and called out to him, that should do it. He didn't get the joke though, just looked at me a bit puzzled. Then there are the really daft buggers who don't bother at all, usually the young ones. Walking around with that arrogant, this thing can't touch me attitude. Well, they'll have a very different fucking attitude when the coughing starts and they can't breathe. On the positive side, everyone's saying it'll all be over by Christmas. Entry from the diary of Captain Ian Walker, 2nd Battalion Yorkshire Regiment, on the eve of the Battle of the Somme, Tuesday, June the 30th, 1916.